In this video, you will learn how much data we produce every single day. We now live in a big data world. And sometimes people ask me, what do you mean by big data? Why is it big? And for me, looking at how much data we now produce every single day is a great illustration of the opportunities and the challenges this new big data world brings us. Currently, we have something in the region of five zettabytes of data in the world, right? So one, just one zettabyte is a sextillion byte. This is a number with 21 zeros at the end. Put another way, a state-of-the-art home computer now has a terabyte of storage. It would be one billion of those. If you think this is a scary number, those five zettabytes will go to over 175 zettabytes by 2025. So if you put those 125 zettabytes on DVDs, and stack them up, it would be a stack that reaches 222 times around the Earth. This for me hopefully gives you an illustration. So now look at how we do this every day and how this is adding up to these enormous volumes of data. So in a single day, we now generate 2.5 quintillion bytes of data. This is now a number with 12 zeros at the end. So where's all of this data coming from? Every single day, we send 300 billion emails. So this is a massive amount of data, if you think not just the content of those emails, but attachments to these emails as well. Every single day, we also send 65 billion WhatsApp messages. This is all the information we share between us. And the weather company receives 26 billion requests for weather forecasts. So all of this data is generated continuously throughout the day and is growing those data volumes. YouTube is another example. Every day, we watch 5 billion hours of YouTube. And every day, we are uploading 500,000 new hours of video content to YouTube. Internet searches, every day, we perform about 5 billion searches. And 3.5 billion of those will be done on Google. So again, this is giving this company huge information on what we're looking for. But again, each Google search is not giving companies like Google the content of what we're searching for, but also our location data and other information that is shared continuously. The other thing is we now have smartphones and we have smartphones with cameras in them. So we keep snapping away. And every day we now take about 3 billion photographs and many of them are then shared on Facebook and Instagram. We now share 300 million photos on Facebook every single day. So those 1.5 billion active users every day that use Facebook now share their photos, but they also share about seven, 750 million status updates. Netflix. We're now watching 165 million hours of Netflix every single day. Twitter, 500 million tweets, 100 million photos shared on Instagram. Spotify, we love listening to music and Spotify adds 20,000 new songs every single day. And in addition to all of this, we have all those smart devices that we are now surrounded by. We have phones that we carry around that continuously send information about our location, our speed, our altitude, even the weather conditions around us. 
We now have smart toasters, smart cars, smart washing machines, smart watches, and all of those devices are continuously generating data. Just think about some of the voice activated speakers like Alexa and Google Home. They're collecting our voice information. All the face scans and fingerprint scans that we use to access our smartphones. All of this data is generating huge opportunities for businesses and huge challenges. What I do in my day job is I help organizations leverage this big data to help them improve their business performance, to develop better strategies to become more successful. For me, looking at these quintillion bytes of data we now have in this world, less than 5% of all of this data that we have is ever analyzed. And this is today, let alone all of this volume of data that we are adding every single day. So there are huge opportunities and any organization that doesn't look at data strategically will simply be left behind. If you want to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can learn about data strategies and how to approach this or have a look on my YouTube channel to learn more about how companies actually do this in practice and how you develop a data strategy step by step.